So the question is something like this. We have a square pyramid resting on the ground on its base with the base edges inclined 45 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees to the picture plane and the base corner nearer to the picture plane is 20 mm behind it. So this is what you get. Okay. So the the most important thing before drawing the perspective projection is you make a freehand sketch on the side of the paper, okay, to know the dimensions. So the dimension is something like uh, this is 30 mm, right? This is 20 mm, and uh, the station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane, 80 mm above the ground, 40 mm towards right from the center of the pyramid. 40 mm towards right from the center, 50 mm. So this is your station point. Now this length is 50 mm. Fine. Now if you draw the ground plane here, ground line here, if you take 80 mm distance above and locate the horizon line. So there lies your station point. So from this station point you drop a perpendicular to this and mark this as SP dash. So normally what you do is uh, you make a freehand sketch here and then you measure this 80 plus 50, 130, 130 plus 20, and 50, 150 plus something like uh, 50 mm. So 130 plus 50, 180, right? Roughly you have 180 mm distance. The whole span is only from here to here to have 180 mm. So when you when you draw, start drawing, you have to position accordingly. Okay, so you have to find a space where you don't need. You should not draw, make the drawing somewhere in the middle of the paper, so that when you draw the the, the bottom portion, this portion, it goes down. Okay, so that is very important. Okay, let's start drawing. center how much uh, 40 mm towards right How do you connect from this view? This is your view. You can see OAB completely, OPC completely. You can connect that. Now 
नहीं चल में विच इज अडन last part of the question you have a variation so instead of um, 20 mm behind you have 10 mm in front so the base corner which is nearer to the picture plane is not behind it it's in front okay so behind the space is here and in front is here so when you draw the when you draw the top view this is what you do draw the picture plane take 10 mm draw the line okay the point take 45 45 30 mm, 30 mm, complete the square. This is what you get: A, B, C, D, and O. So that I've completed up to that point. Then I, from the center, uh, 40 mm towards right, 50 mm in front, you locate the station point. And when I draw the visual rays, this is what you need to focus. Okay. So what happens if I draw a visual ray to C? so it actually hits the picture plane at this point and that's my piercing point but okay uh, let's complete to d also so that's my piercing point d for o also this is my point for a when i draw for a this is my piercing point for a okay for a now What happens if I draw a pierce, uh, a visual ray to B? So I'm going to draw it using a red line, so that you can get an understanding. So when I get to this point, if I draw a visual ray like this, I won't get an intercept, or I won't get a piercing point. Why? Because the visual ray doesn't intersect the picture plane. So what I have to do is I have to extend this line. Until it gets to the picture plane, so this right next to A, I have my B. So piercing point. If a, if any part of the object is in front of the picture plane, the piercing point is obtained by drawing the visual ray to that point and then extending it further so that it touches the picture plane. That's the only difference. The rest is very very simple, same as usual. Okay. Now let's complete the the front view also. Now, the piercing point of B is here. The visual ray drawn from S P dash to B dash is this. If you draw a perpendicular, you won't get an intercept. So what happens is, what you have to do is you have to do the same thing. You have to extend this visual ray also. Now, what, why is that? If you remember, um, 
the 2D thing I have told you this suppose this is our station point and this is our object visualize goes like this this is your picture plane okay and this is a station point this is object so what happens when the visualize goes your perspective projection is formed here now you can see that since um, the object is away from the picture plane the perspective projection is smaller than the object so what happens if you move the picture plane so suppose if I move the picture plane and keep it right in the object okay now I've moved it here keep it uh, through the object so the right now the picture plane is uh, in the plane of same plane as the object so when you see the perspective projection you get the same image okay same image now what happens if you move it further back now the object is in between the station point and the picture plane so you extend the visual ray and what you get is an enlarged image enlarged image bigger than or the longer than the original size okay so this is exactly what happens here a portion this portion of the square pyramid is in front of the picture plane in front of the picture plane see it's in front so when you look from here that portion which is very close okay which is in front of the picture plane appears to be a bit enlarged so that's why you get sort of a distorted image so if you compare this image this one okay this one with the previous one you see the difference that's very far away if you move it further down like this like this you get an image like this it's slightly slightly enlarged and because of a portion is only enlarged it appears to be distorted so that's the answer so the point we have to take is whenever a portion of the object is in front of the picture plane okay to get a piercing point you have to extend the visual ray until it touches the picture plane and here also from sp dash also you have to extend the visual ray until you get a intercept from the projector drawn from your piercing point that's it.